For the first time since February, I'm sitting down and talking to you guys about a Reading Football Club win. That's right, Reading have finally won a game for the first time since February after a 3-1 win against Blackpool. Reading went to Millwall and won by four goals to nil. And uh, yeah, safe to say we had a really good time at the Den. Now last time we went to Millwall, we won by a goal to nil thanks to a Nabi Sar header. But this time we have a new mentality, we have a new manager, and we have a basically completely new team. Now when you look at the starting 11 that started for Reading in this game, you had Kanaya Boyce Clark in goal, Amadou Mbengu was starting at right back and Matty Carson at left back. Tyler Binden, fresh off his signing the day before, partnered the centre-backs with Nelson Abbey, who was captain for this game. Harvey Nibs and Kamara were the two wingers, with Lewis Wing and Tavonge Rashisha in the midfield. Kelvin Eherabatoman was uh, joined up front by strike partner Kalen Vickers. And I think Eherabatoman was someone who stole the show. But someone who I've read had an absolute standout performance was 18-year-old American centre-back Tyler Binden. Now, apparently, he was one of the best players on the pitch, alongside the centre-back partner Nelson Abbey. There's even calls for the two to be the starting centre-backs against Port Vale on Saturday after impressing so much. Nelson Abbey was the captain of the game as well uh, for Reading and listen, Nelson Abbey, you are a Rolls Royce of a football player. Kaniah Boys Clark was someone as well who was able to keep his first professional clean sheet as a goalkeeper after much stress over the last few weeks uh, with obviously contracts and with that performance against Swansea. It's really good to see him get his dues. Now, Reading were the team that won by four goals to nil. Uh, and just as I'm talking about this now, Reading have tweeted the eyes emoji, so potentially may get some breaking news during the video. But Reading did win the game by four goals to nil, and the goals came from Kelvin Eherabatoman, who was able to have a fantastic start to the game, uh, scoring after a Kalen Vickers pass. He was able to lift it over the goalkeeper, and uh, Bartosz Bielski was unable to get it. It was very similar to two of his opportunities that he had against um, Peterborough at the weekend, uh, but this one was able to be chipped into the back of the net, and he was able to get his uh, first goal of the season. Second half then came and Herbert Oman was able to double his lead. Uh, a save by Bielkowski after a Kalen Vickers shot came along and Herbert Oman was able to tap the ball into the back of the net, getting onto the rebound and scoring to make it 2-0 to Reading. Now some substitutions were made at half-time as we saw the introduction of Femi Aziz and we also saw the introduction of Charlie Savage. Harley Dean came on for his debut as well, replacing Tavonge Rashisha. Uh, Michael Craig having to come on as well uh, in place of Mbengu after a clash of heads. And finally, the last substitution was Basil Tuma, who came on for Caelan Vickers. Now, in terms of the third goal, though, it was a contribution by one of our substitutions. Running had a free kick uh, outside the box, and it was our little star boy. It was Charlie Savage who was able to turn in an excellent goal uh, into the back of the net, scoring directly from the free kick and opening his account for the Royals. Charlie Savage, you're our star boy, and I think you're going to do well in blue and white. Reading then made it for Basil Tuma with some fantastic work uh, and fantastic drop of the shoulder to get past Jake Cooper. Ran through on into goal, squared it across and who was there but Mamadi Kamara was able to put the ball in the back of the net and seal a 4-0 victory for Reading who hadn't won in six months. We hadn't won away from home in nine months and we gave Millwall their biggest defeat for a long, long time. Great win by Reading. And it's all you can really ask for. In terms of a quote from, a quote from Ruben Seles, we said that the boys did an amazing job from the first minute until the end of the game. Our recruitment has been good and the young players have been trying to adjust themselves to the system. The way we play suits them a lot. The dynamic of football, the aggressive on the, aggressive on the pressure and very good in transitions. Today for us, everything came together. We have an identity, we know what we want and it doesn't matter who, we, who plays for us, we want to try and put our stamp on the game. It's good to see the young players are able to make that performance today. And when you talk about that, the identity and the performance, Reading really did have that high press. When you look at the second goal, it was something where Reading were high pressing. And when you look at really the whole identity of this team, it's what we've been crying out for for years. And it's just a fantastic, fantastic change to finally have 
We speak about the negative football that Paul Ince played last year, and we already see the identity Ruben Seles has got just across these first two games of the season. Now, obviously, I'm not going to jump ahead of myself and say we're going to win the EFL Cup, we're going to win League One, we're going to win the Papagean's Cup, we're going to win the FA Cup. But there's an identity there, and there's something that we can see where Reading Football Club finally have something to be proud of. Now, as well, it was actually the Millwall manager, uh, Gary Rowett, even giving Reading their flowers, saying that Reading deserved to win the game. Uh, and yeah, it was just very, very high praise, shall we say, of Reading Football Club. Millwall did have their chances as well, though, and Kanaya Boyce Clark was able to put off some good saves during the game. But like I said, the two centre backs in uh, Nelson Abbey and Tyler Vinden really did just make it easy for Reading. That's going to be it for this video, though, guys. Uh, if you were at the game, please put in the comment section below. I'd be very interested to find out everyone's uh, kind of review on the performance. Always love hearing your guys' opinions. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. My name's been James, and we'll see you all very soon for another video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.